might fall out from a highly unusual debate. Well, this is an app where they plot the human feces that are found on the streets of San Francisco. And Two governors, only one of them a candidate for president. That... California Democrat Gavin Newsom and Florida Republican Ron DeSantis facing off in prime time. He's very good at spinning these these tales. He's good at, at being slick and slippery. He'll, he'll tell a blizzard of lies to be able to try to mask the failures. There's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. The debate, moderated by Fox News host Sean Hannity, billed as a battle between red and blue states. Both men clashing on the 2024 race, with DeSantis accusing Newsom of running for the White House unofficially, while also attacking President Biden. Yes, he's in decline. Yes, it's a danger to the country. He has no business running for president. And, you know, Gavin Newsom agrees with that. He won't say that. But that's why he's running his shadow campaign. Uh, I will take Joe Biden at 100 versus Ron DeSantis any day of the week at any age. And I know Nikki Haley's campaign is asking, when are you going to drop out and at least give Nikki Haley a shot to take down Donald Trump in this nomination? The governors pressed on the issue of abortion. DeSantis declining to say if he'd sign a national six-week ban, as he's done in Florida. The position that we have from the modern left, including in California, is that they will take your tax dollars and they will fund abortion all the way to the moment of birth. Why will didn't you, you or will you question? not support Why didn't a you national support? ban if Why? it lands on your desk? I'll answer it for Ron DeSantis. Can't answer it. He will sign that extreme. Okay, six week let me move on. Ban. The American I, people should know that. I'm and on immigration, Newsom attacking DeSantis for those migrant flights he organized to Martha's Vineyard and California. I met with those migrants that you lied to under false pretense. That kind of gamesmanship, using human beings as pawns, I think is disqualifying. California is a sanctuary state. Uh, they thumb their nose at federal immigration law, and this has real consequences. As the debate came to an end, both governors and Hannity deciding they wanted to keep going past the agreed upon 90 minutes. Let's just do an extended hour. We want, we'll, I'm happy to do uh, it. I guess the debate on the fly will continue on the other side. But after the break, all right, welcome back to Hannity, a red state, blue state debate. Uh, by mutual agreement, uh, both candidates had other commitments, and they realized afterwards they couldn't stay longer. And tonight, new reporting revealing the chaos off screen that led to the surprise twist. Four sources with the DeSantis campaign and one unaffiliated source on the ground telling NBC News Governor Newsom's wife walked onto the set to stop the debate from going longer, reportedly saying, we're done. A Newsom staffer denying that claim, saying the stoppage was mutual. On stage, candidates sparring about residents leaving Florida for California and vice versa. We spoke to voters on both sides of that migration. Julie Gephardt's moved from California to Florida. Um, in eighth grade, my daughter had a, a kid who daily would yell at her across campus telling her that she was stupid for her conservative beliefs. Valson Marmillion left Florida for California. Third, I'm a gay man. Uh, if you're a gay person, uh, you want to live around uh, people who are not inspired by someone who is damaging your community with his rhetoric. And with that, Dasha Burns joins us tonight from the campaign trail in Atlanta. Dasha, I want to get back to that new reporting you had from behind the scenes. Do we know why Governor Newsom's wife was so upset with the debate that she wanted it to end? So we don't know exactly why she decided to put a stop to the debate going longer, but we do know from our sources in the room, both from, from the DeSantis campaign and also uh, from Newsom's aides, that there was a, a lot of drama behind the scenes, a lot of accusations flying around rule breaking. The Newsom team was accusing the DeSantis campaign of breaking the rules by uh, DeSantis talking to his wife Casey and his staff throughout the debate. They also claimed that Fox News had a teleprompter that was uh, angled toward DeSantis so that he could see the questions that Sean Hannity was about to ask. Now, Fox News uh, denies both of those accusations, but it just gives you the flavor of the tension that was happening off screen that viewers couldn't see, Tom. A lot of juicy allegations there. All right. Uh, Dasha, I, I know the reaction to this debate has been broken down partisan lines, but is it perceived that there was a winner or a loser last night? 
Well, look, like a lot of these things, it is a bit of a Rorschach test, right? If you think you that you, if you like Newsom, you think he won. If you like DeSantis, you think he won. Uh, but I will say that it gave Newsom a chance to present himself as the future of the left, the future of the Democratic Party, while also uh, putting to bed those rumors that he's running a sort of shadow campaign throughout the debate. He continued to emphasize the record of Joe Biden, that he is going to be the, nom the nominee, that he's going to do a great job and beat former President Trump. And for DeSantis, uh, he got 90 minutes without his other rivals looming over his shoulder. So both got an advantage there. And then, Dasha, finally, in Republican circles, I, I, I've heard that some people are saying that they thought Governor DeSantis was more comfortable, he was more aggressive. He, he did a better job debating Governor Newsom than he's done in the primary debates, which are the ones that really matter. Well, look, this is something that the DeSantis campaign has been looking forward to. He told me in his own spin room of his own creation last night that this is an opportunity for him where he has felt like former President Trump has gotten the vast majority of media attention. So this was 90 minutes where he was not fighting with Republicans. Instead, he was taking on someone from the left. We're taking on the, quote, radical left is something that he has been talking about over and over on the campaign trail. It's something he has made a staple of his message, and he got to do that and use Newsom as sort of a proxy for Biden and show voters what it would potentially look like if someone other than Trump were the nominee and were to take on a Democrat, Tom. Dasha Burns from the campaign trail for us. Dasha, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.